Hello everybody, and welcome back. I'm Congresso, and this is the Pacific Prosperity Campaign in Hearts by Four Black Ice Edition. The invasion of China is somewhat behind schedule, uh, but going rather well so far. Our casualties are looking pretty low, 28,000, and bear in mind, 8,000 of those were uh, a disastrous naval invasion of the Shandong Peninsula. Uh, we have managed to take Shanghai in the south, thereby doing serious damage to the Chinese supply lines. Uh, the next step of the plan is to do an encirclement here, thereby wiping out these divisions and capturing this supply hub here. And then it will be a uh, unifying of our two units of, uh, of troops, liquidating any forces trapped between that and the coast. And then I'm thinking perhaps a naval invasion in the south would be a good idea, um, because then I could push from there inland, hold this river line, connect up, and again, liquidate a lot of forces against the coastline here. Seems like that would work well. Uh, in the air, if you unpause for a second, uh, we are looking pretty good. Um, main bulk of the fighting is up here at the moment, so let's divert all planes in sensible regions to that, perhaps these guys as well. Flying from there should be good, uh, and we will divert away from the from this area to the Suwan air zone. I should probably try and capture this air base um, sooner rather than later, just so we can fly some planes out of there and, of course, prevent our enemies from doing so. Meanwhile, my main concern this campaign is our industrial situation. We have 170 factories, which is you know not as many as it could be, um, but we've got a lot of focuses. Uh, that should give us some factories, I think. Mm, no, it does make naval, oh, naval Dockyard go up, though, and Naval Re Research Institute here. It's going to be good, especially for Naval Doctrine, which we don't uh, we don't currently have. Um, and then, yeah, there's a bunch of prepare the fleets and all this kind of stuff. Uh, we can prevent the Siam or pressure Siam, fine. And then we, of course, have our, our strike option down in the south. So this gives us an annex war goal against the British and Dutch, and we can choose to strike the USA uh, shortly after that. Ooh, unlocks decision Operation AI. It might be there's a, there's a, a decision-based um, Pearl Harbor that we could enact. That would be helpful. But there's also a lot of focuses down here. I expect we will get down here, prepare the fleet, but not do this focus, and then for a long time, we will, um, oh interesting, you have to get to uh, either a date or China at 50% surrender progress or worse for them. Worse for them, I mean. Uh, I did miss that going Northern Expansion Doctrine would give us the Army Technical Laboratory, but oh well. Um, I mean, there's a lot of stuff we could do over here as well. But yeah, I think we can have some time to fill out our focus tree, basically, because I don't want to declare war on the Allies until China has fallen. <laughs> It may be that I find myself compelled into doing it. Um, what could compel me to do it? Oil shortages. I mean, it's very historical, um, but oil shortages are the main thing that could compel me into doing it. We are currently at oil import capacity. If we are trying to, oh, oh no, I can get more from the uh, from the British. It's weird. Why was it only delivering part of that? I guess it's just recalculating as the game starts. It's not like I'm being convoy raided, so. But anyway, yes, ideally, ideally, we win some decisive victories in China. Um, and that permits us to not go to war on two fronts, which will be good. You guys are just pinning, I believe, so I'm happy to let you keep doing that, even though it looks like it's a bit of a doomed attack. Um, Production-wise, I'm hurting on light artillery. Got a lot of infantry equipment. Hmm. Got a de garrison equipment deficit. I thought I wasn't using any garrison equipment. No, of course I am. We have, we have these guys that we're using for military police. Crap, it's very important that they have uh, full equipment. Well, that's 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 real bad. Let's get some um, let's get some garrison equipment under production. Where is it? It's jungle warfare, recon, garrison equipment. We should throw two factories on that uh, pronto. I'll even sacrifice one from the. Oh, I put it up rather than down. Okay, I was so confused as to where that factory went. 
Um, yeah, I'll sacrifice one of infantry equipment because infantry equipment is not always short of right now. Um, because we've been adding all this uh, light artillery. But yeah, getting two factories on that. Once those crank up on their production efficiency, that should be putting us in a pretty good position. Okay, and then, yeah, logistics-wise, we're approaching, we're approaching some of our limits, but going okay so far. Both of you just focus on, focus on defending for a second. Ideally, I would encircle this tile as well, of course. Um, with these two coming in, I think we have the, uh, I think we have the troops in place to achieve that. <clears throat> we'll see, though. These guys are beginning to uh, to flee the pocket. I think we lose the League of Nations. Who cares, indeed? I can escalate the war in China, but we're not going to do that. Um, we have decided that we're not going to do that because I think we can win without it, and I don't want to increase world tension and American war support. So, um, what was I thinking? Yes. I want to look at traits, because we have all this command power right now. I do like Fast Planner. I do like many of these. So I can give this guy two traits right now. I think there's Reinforced Trait... Oh, Charismatic is, an, is, is a must-have. Would I rather have... 2% Reinforced Rate. Or... 8% Planning Speed is nice. It, it It's mostly nice in China, though. Um, because, yeah, rapid planning. Hmm. Yes, I am going to get fast planner, I think. Being able to, to react and adapt really quickly like that is, is very advantageous. And he has just one slot left, which I think we were reserving for, um, infantry leader, ideally. Oh, but he's no way towards earning infantry leader, apparently. Because he doesn't have greater than 35% infantry battalion ratio. He definitely does, though. Maybe it counts support battalions? Hmm. Okay, well, that being the case, maybe we give him... Don't need river attack. No, I guess I guess he's just staying as he is. I mean, he's got a lot of traits already. This chappy, meanwhile... Offensive Doctrine is hard to pass up. Let's grab that on him. I could put Offensive 2 on this guy, couldn't I? Yeah. I mean, attack is so all-important. Let's do that. And then you, sir, could give you Winter Specialist. He could be the general that would come and fight in the north. But no, I'm going to give him Offensive Doctrine. <clears throat> Our mobile commander. He should be able to get... No, it's only motorized. He's getting some experience towards Cavalry Leader. We might want to give him Cavalry Leader, but I think the rest... Yeah, just get get the offensive doctrine. It's not a not a flashy trait. But I think that's a good way to spend up some of our command power. I'm putting this pressure here, even though the attack is not succeeding. Uh, I will begin to spread out some of these guys. Okay, we've cut in there successfully. Okay, not really what I was expecting, honestly. Um, we're we're quite overexposed here. I am I am conscious of that. Let's try and start this. If we can hold this just to... These these cavalry will take some some losses here, but... If we can hold that position just to keep them away from my... The tip of the spear, as it were. Mm, they are rushing out of this pocket at some speed now. I think maybe... Maybe I should abandon this attack, but... They're stopping here, some of them. So if we could just get in here... Circle them that way. <clears throat> if you could just hold them there. These these cavalry are not having a fun time. But if they can just hold them there long enough. We'll see. Get those guys coming down. Okay, the motorized infantry leading the charge. Doing really well there. Nice. And of course we have yeah, all the planes active here. Mm, should have had the ground cruise bonus. Oh well. And with the extra um, infantry having arrived here, that's a that's an easy win. Send them south. Fortress defenses, nice. Um, now, do I want to get more World War One or World War Two doctrine? You'd think World War Two is a no-brainer, but I mean the breakthrough. The breakthrough is so good, and we can get it faster as well. Support that southern thrust. 
these guys are moving up. No one's exploiting this gap in the line. Not yet, anyway. Good. Keep them pinned there. And then if these guys can rush across just as soon as they can, that will be perfect. Yeah, we're not capturing very many divisions back here in the end. Um, but some. Some. How much longer have I got to wait? Four days, gosh. We can't possibly be losing that. No. Throw everything in here. Yeah, not capturing many in the end here, but we are getting that um, supply hub, which will put them in a really bad position. And there is that province taken. And still having to break them here. Southern Expansion Doctrine gives us another dockyard and 60% on ship factories. Okay, give me... Let's Yeah, let's pacify the north first. It's a very short focus. It means we'll be able to uh, move our troops out of the... Uh, the northern area, which would be good. Hmm, some of these guys are being pushed back. Have I got two here still? Yeah, we have one south. And those defenders do launch the attack simultaneously. Damn, I don't want to actually... I don't want to win this battle. I don't want to even push a single division out of this tile. I just need to try and hold them there. They're actually bringing in sufficient reinforcements here to hold, which is certainly inconvenient. Um, so, research-wise... <clears throat> Retention is lovely. Supply range is lovely. There's lots of important stuff here. Um, let's get civilian works. So our fuel is... Uh, sorry, our s stability is trending down again. Breaking them here. You don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere. So we'll just send you into this then. These guys, how long until you can come in here? A day? Yeah, I mean, the supply situation back here is, of course, bad until we can actually get the supply hub online in our favor um, but we should be able to do that very shortly you're going to be there in 16 hours you're going to be there in five days so we do unfortunately need to uh, launch another offensive here but yeah maybe with just one infantry because yeah yeah i don't want to be seeing these guys successfully fleeing the tile really these kind of encirclements are they're very very tricky without faster divisions which obviously we've we've made a tactical choice to uh, to not have. Maybe we we try some some decent cav divisions. We'll have to uh, we'll have to see. All right, you're at eight, so I can put four more in there. They can head over, and this one guy can come over here. Good. New infantry deployed, and then we're going to let some of our some of our stockpile build. I I want to be uh, limiting. Manpower casualties just as much as possible in order to uh, limit five days, one day. Okay, you guys can stay put. Yeah, they're incredibly slow just because of the massive supply problems. But as soon as we've got this tile, yeah, these guys are they are all getting out of that pocket. That is, uh, that is an embarrassment. Well, we may as well begin some offensives on the back end of the pocket as we... Uh, we wrap it up because it looks like we're actually going to close it here, annoyingly. Darn, that's far, far less damaging than uh, we were hoping <clears throat> to the actual Chinese numbers on this front. Oh well. Oh well, we make do. We make do. If you two could support attack in there, and you can cross here, and you can cross here. Cool. Um, so what we'll do now on the west is we'll just do some planning and uh, let that... There's peace in the north. I think we need a, a Soviet response to that focus. It's an if Soviets accept thing. No? It just forces them into it? Not yet. Oh, there we go. We've handed it over to Manchuko. They, yes, there we go. We have a non-aggression pact. Good stuff. Mm. So these eight can be freed up. Um, I guess we need a mobile field marshal. Um, cheap promotion cost. Okay, I guess it's going to be this guy. Ando. It's going to be our... Oh, maybe maybe this guy? Yeah. I think Otzo is going to be our, our mobile field commander. Field officer, rather. Field marshal. Good lord. And easily connected. Don't like cautious. 
I think we'll take... Yeah, maybe you? Yeah. Put him in. So we've got eight new infantry divisions to play with. Um, potentially they support another naval invasion. Maybe we start working on that. Let's send them down here. And once those extra four arrive here, I'll pull out the marines. And we can start thinking about where they go next. <clears throat> okay, but with this all closed up, which you do not need to help with, we'll be good there. Okay, infantry guns two is nice to have. Um, get some sniper teams. It's pretty cheap. Garrison training will be good. Some suppression bonuses is going to help them out. <clears throat> Excuse me. Ooh, supply range, though. I'm going to take the supply range. Okay, so this is all closing up. And supply on the east is fine. Obviously, this hub has no supply connection, so we need to cut across there. There's the better uh, carrier fighters. We need to immediately get the next ones. I'm not actually going to switch production to the uh, the previous one, the, the, the ones we just got, I think. All right, so we've got peace in the north now. Um, I would like those two 60% bonuses to that, which needs... All right, you can't get that. You need the soil. Um, let's get the Naval Research Institute going. And the waves itself also gives some really nice bonuses. Dockyard output up, Naval Org up, lots of good stuff in there. Okay, so you lot, over here in the east, they're all pretty planned. These guys down here have great planning bonuses, but not, um, not in a perfect position to expand our, our holdings down here. I think the way to do it will be by cutting across here and then up and having these guys join. So let's, one, two, three, let's simplify this front line somewhat. You guys and two of you stay here. Excuse me. There we go. And the rest come down here. And then also, yeah, let's do a very targeted push straight out here. And that supply hub is the objective. We'll come at it from two directions. It's going to be difficult on supply. Maybe untenable, but we will find out as we go here. So give me that. And then uh, two of these chappies can come over here and join in. And we'll get some serious concentration of uh, of troops here. Uh, the moving ones, the ones I assigned. There we go. Good. Now up here, these guys presumably not much planning bonus. Oh, some of them still have some. But I think I am going to wait for the supply hub. Um, before I take any further steps there. Okay. Now, that infantry gun upgrade. We could upgrade them further. I have the army XP. Yep, more, more breakthrough. Pretty nice. And some reliability, even. Hmm. I think we shouldn't spend army XP on infantry guns because I need it for army doctrine. All right, you guys, you guys can hold. Okay, so the cavalry, let's concentrate them. They're mostly just backline fillers. Um, but if we're gonna try and push down here with them, let's uh, just adjust their plan so I kind of remember what I was thinking. And then, yeah, it's all about uh, working to rejig this railway connection. It's going to take months to do that, so we're not going to be in any kind of hurry here. But And then you... There is another supply connection to be had over here. Two more supply hubs to be had over here. And that leaves them with, you know, like no supply hubs. So actually, I am going to launch an offensive this way, using this guy. And then we'll... Once we've captured those, these two... We'll hold a pretty wonky front line, like that probably, 
And then we'll divert some of these troops over to assist in the eastern offensive. Uh, but you two, let's let's have everyone doing their part. We're going to fight through the... Mm, that's pretty tough, but... We're going to fight through the low supply. Got that airbase. 100 planes there. Give me these casts down here. That would be good. And have I got any planes still on the mainland that I could use? Not really. How about in reserve? Mm, I got, uh, yeah, I got 100 light bombers. Okay, let's deploy them. Should maybe be deploying air forces with with puppet manpower. Can you do that, or is it just exile manpower? Let's cross here, and marines can do a pinning action. You guys can reinforce. It's obviously a tough ask. Can you? No. Obviously a tough tough ask to have them uh, fighting across this major river, but. They're up to the task. They're up to the task. We got some fighters backing them up too. And the recon letting us know what's up. Okay. Making progress here through into the uh, the less well defended tiles. I think I will steal that division for this army momentarily. Good. Broken them on both fronts. But yeah, this, we really need this supply connection. It's going to take a while. I'm going to keep selling arms. We've got a lot more. Um... Oh, God, it's such a long crossing. All right, give me give me some infantry support here. And let's, let's get the Marines over here, actually. The Marines can help with this crossing, and then once we've achieved the crossing... No, 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 not there. Once we've achieved the crossing, we will... Uh... We can widen things here a bit as well. We can... Uh... What was I going to say? Is that the Chinese cipher? Nice. Once we've finished this crossing, we'll send the Marines over to help out the, uh, the other place. Uh, speaking of our spies, you're going to get forced to move soon anyway. So let's move you back ourselves. Just so the network doesn't get broken by me uh, not realizing. We could push south. But I, mean, I really, I know, I know, I know, I know I should wait for the supply. We're taking... Excess casualties by starting this offensive early. Um, but just just these two tiles, because it's going to be easier to attack from them into this plains tile and being able to hit these hills from two directions. You guys, just give them some support. We will then pause and wait for the supply. I mean, look at this. We're being pushed back even. The supply is so bad in this area. Let's manually move some of these cab into position. They're suffering a lot of attrition. I mean, if we look at our main Chinese one, I'm betting... Uh, to be fair, we have actually lost significantly more gear to combat than attrition so far. I'm kind of, I'm actually kind of surprised by that. This force will need one extra guy. We've got them. Where, where are my extra guys? Are they, are this, is this including the extra eight I sent across? Oh no, I sent. Well, no, I sent some of them down here, but I thought I sent. I mean, yeah, that is twelve divisions. It's, this is this push. It's a little questionable. I think I might... Yeah, I think I'm going to achieve these bridgeheads and then pause. Um, because we're getting a long way from our, our supply hubs, apart from anything else. I do have the I do have the trucks to motorize this, though. Let's, uh, let's do a little bit of partial motorization on these two hubs. And that will give us a lot, a lot better supply situation in this region. Okay. Okay, and we can actually support a few more divisions. So you know what? You chappies. Hang on. Oh, eight are assigned there? Ah, you're just walking because you're idiots. Okay. No, strat redeploy down here. Okay. And then the other four of you. Excuse me. Hello, you four. Strat redeploy, thank you. Now you four. Let's actually have you in here. You can hold the line on this southern section. And then these four can be subbed in to go over there. Whoops, turned on day-night cycle, don't want that. Okay, we've achieved the positions we were looking for here. These guys are just reshuffling. Get in there and help that defense win with less casualties, that'll be good. They're weakening the lines here. Yeah, 100 infantry equipment is not very much to spend for 150 political power. Okay, so, 
Um, we are going to keep focusing on our officer core, I think. Now, I do like division training time, entrenchment speed. Hmm. We're going to get an army on because it's the army um, doctrine, though. Yeah, command doctrine. We're doing a lot of command doctrine research, right? Command doctrine is this one. Yeah. We're going to try and get all of these. So yes, let's get let's get a command doctrine theorist. Yeah, gets us military experience, gets us command doctrine, gets us military leader cost. Military leader cost doesn't really matter, but spirit division command. We're not doing that yet, unless I want to do static. I mean, the entrenchment speed factor is pretty nice because you know you advance and then you quite often have to deal with a counteroffensive. I think we're okay there though. Air though, home defense. Air range, hmm. Escort and ground attack factor. Centralized control. This is what I'm. This is what will help us most now. This is what I'm worried about in the future. So I'm going to put that in now. I think that's the the long term play. I would like to simplify this border a little by pushing in there. Get them a step further back from our supply hub. Okay, so there we go. Supply hub is uh, is active. It is over overworked with its current uh, current stuff. Let's demobilize, demotorize rather that one. And are there any other motorized hubs that don't need to be? Yeah, this one. If I demotorize this one, is it going to put too much work on this one? Yeah. Right, so we'll keep that motorized just to handle some of this eastern stuff. And But then what if I motorize this one to try and take some of the burden off here? Is that working? Not really. What we need is these hubs. That's what I'm thinking right now. Um, so what if I full motorize this temporarily? We have the gear for it. Yeah, that is helping a lot. Okay. So what I need is these hubs, which means you guys need to... Uh, you need to advance and you need to succeed. Um, so we're going to go into the hills first, counterintuitively. Get these guys coming in. And then uh, you, you're at eight guys. Okay, so we can concentrate forces like this. Okay. And yeah, just begin a kind of slow push in here. We're not looking for any major encirclements or anything crazy, but let's just let's just push them back. There's the waves, we get the bonus. Give me the Naval Research Institute, please. Okay, anything else off here that's urgent? No, outdated in production? Oh yes, the planes that we decided not to upgrade yet, that's fine. Now, uh, as my, my new wing deployed, it has indeed. We can fly them from here quite successfully, I think. And you, it's a, it's a big air zone, low mission efficiency, but it's worth trying to get a bit of support there. Meanwhile, here, if we can do a, yeah, just a slow push south, accompanying this push west, um, I think that's going to be good. Let's start that attack now. We've got the, got the reinforcements coming in. These guys are arriving, which means I can start to move these guys over. Uh, yeah, let's look at look at trying to cut down here a bit. If we can. Get those mobile divisions going as well. These guys have got some planning bonus active. Love to see that. Now, I think... No, we are still in this air zone here. Okay. Good. No, it's all going pretty well at the moment, I'd say. We are, we are beginning to stretch. Oh, I should check if I have that focus tree. We've got the waves... Maybe strengthened. Have I got the, the lure them in focus that it was talking about that we might want to have to use that decision for? I don't think so. Is it a fo is it a thing you have? Okay, here it is. Lure them in the strategy. They get 20% defense, 10% attack on core territory. I don't think that's going to save you, honestly. And in terms of um, resistance, let's look at somewhere we took early in the war. Yeah, we're at 42%. But compliance is rising. Yeah, guerrilla warfare is hurting us. 20% lower supplies. I think we're doing okay, though. Can I see... Um, 
harm done to my garrisons. 6,000 manpower and 2.6 thousand production capacity have been lost to Chinese resistance so far. That's that's eminently manageable, is what that is. So I think we're okay with that for now. I think we just uh, allow that state of affairs to continue. Now down here, we've got the guys across the river. I'm going to keep the marines around, actually, I think, for now. Why are you trying to go over there? Stay here. Okay, so you four can now all head over here. I motorized this, right? No, I didn't, actually. Have I got enough for another motorize? I don't. So we're going to need to demotorize something. You guys in the east will just have to uh, suck it up for a minute, I think. Yeah, that's this is going to overburden here. But we need it. We need it to make this push work. And work, so far, it is. Let's keep coming down here. This supply hub is the objective. Mostly to deny it to them rather than to actually gain it for ourselves. If you guys could keep on trucking. That's good. And then the four that are here... I thought I assigned them over. Ah, yes, I have. It's just that when you try and select something with no divisions on it, it lets you, even though it doesn't mean anything when you've selected it. Okay. New decision. Uh, unite people under our government. Yes, I would like to do that. Keep the uh, stability coming up. We've got the political power for it. That's fine. Cavalry, showing their value here. Just these lightning-fast advances really helping out. Let's uh, widen the offensive front. This little treaty. Yeah, we're struggling on supply here, for sure. Um, unsurprisingly. But we'll get it. We'll get it. Supply is... Supply situation is improving. I think I need to... I actually need to take some of these infantry. Well, we have nine divisions that could be in here. It's just that they're not coming in on the supply front. Okay. We'll, we'll, we'll force them in. That's fine. Um, this is a hills province. Yeah. Not loving this front line. Let's see if we can push them out of that tile. Make it a little bit more defensible. A little bit less likely they could dart into our rear and cause us problems. Okay, good. There's that advance. We'll get this going. You know what I wish you could do? I wish you could issue a support attack order with a unit that was already attacking, such that they wouldn't leave the plan. They wouldn't leave the, the attack, but they would just switch it to a switch it to a support attack. That would be good. This is mostly a pinning attack, just to try and hold them in place. Can I get them here? Probably can. Nice. Now... Cutting in here. Good. This is the supply hub, remember. We still have some way to go yet. I think we could push them here and here. Because even if they came in behind us, we'd be in okay position. Okay. Uh, more doctrine. Oh, this was a choice? I didn't, I didn't even register that. 12% breakthrough or 10% breakthrough? Oh, this is defense or breakthrough. Okay, I was I read them both as breakthrough. Well, I'm really glad I picked breakthrough because that's the one I wanted. Uh, more breakthrough or I could start on a defensive one or a regimental doctrine. I do want the infantry regimental doctrine, I think. And 10% leader skill bonuses is nice. But would I rather start getting... Which do we decide on here? Probably elastic defense, I think it was. No, that's, that's all. Ah, darn, I've forgotten. I think it was prepared defense. A lot of this in here is for tanks, but... Defense and organization. I mean, this is only one organization. That's three organization and 20% defense. And then some soft attack. Okay. Here we get four, five in organization. And recovery rate. No, it's attritional containment, I think. This is the way to go. I mean, that's really nice. Oh, plus rec recruitable pop. It does lose you one match entrenchment, but one match entrenchment is not very much. I think we're going to go attritional containment, and I am going to spend, because we're, we're capped on 
military power right now. Let's crush in here and try and pin that guy if we can. Coming across here. We're, we're very undercovered. Um, I really ought to have better infantry holding the sides of this, but if we can just get here and then quickly liquidate this, we get into a uh, a very favorable position very quickly. Yeah, we got him here. We're still pinning him here. Um, okay, we do need to get him here though, uh, which we are now slowly once his infantry are in. This attack is a little troubling. I think actually, let's send someone down to defend that. And actually, if you two could push, that would that will stop them at winning this one. Mm, they might cross from here. Got that mountain tile off them. Nice. Right, sorry. The other research. Um, it's time for this, I think. We've got so many research slots. The 3% does start to help a lot more. Non-tank recon radio. That's probably a good idea. We do have a lot of... Um, I mean, all our recon is non-tank. I would like the air improvements as well. Um, could start doing atomic research as well. We're going to look way ahead of time. Um, I think I'm going to take the advanced computing machine ahead of time. Just because so many slots that it will benefit. Too many research slots, you know, that will benefit from the uh, from the tech. Okay, let's have some of you guys move sideways. And then we won't need this marine pinning attack because they're trying to get here. So we can just stop and defend here. Good. Now, planes-wise... Did I fully... Oh, that's that's the that's the um, supply hub. Let's, let's go for that, then. Only one division here is problematic, but... Yeah, we're, we're at our push limit here. I can't, uh, can't just leave empty tiles, so... But if we grab that supply hub off them, it's gonna definitely improve things for us. I didn't read that, Don. Uh, right, so we've decrypted to China, but that's fine. I'm just gonna leave it decrypted and work on the US. If we could weaken them here that will lessen the effectiveness of this attack from them there and strengthen here very close to the full encirclement here and they've got no port in here so this is the whole lot encircled and uh, it's time ready to get destroyed so let's have some move south while the rest we can begin some of our our attacks here we're not going to wait for them to be uh, completely out of organization before we we push in we're just going to start a, a large rolling push. It's going to be devastating. Not not just the Marines, though. They're, they don't have enough artillery. Whoops. That's not what I meant to do. Okay, come on. Cavalry moving in in a day. Anyone moving north from here? From here, yes. Okay, pinning attack across the river. It's going to cost us. It's going to cost us, but it's okay. Sometimes you got to spend... There we go. Got him. Halt the pinning attack. Nice. Encirclement achieved. Uh, begin the offensive. And we'll do it, you know, bit by bit. We're not we're not in a tearing hurry here. We'll do it sensibly. In, you know, tile by tile, coming up for plenty of actions. Hmm, gain two attack skill. Nice. There's the Naval Research Institute focus. Okay. Um, Marine chassis... Okay, so I think, yeah, I should put myself in a position to take the um, this focus, basically. Uh, which I can't do because it's not September yet. Okay, fine. In that case, ooh, we can prospect for stuff in the southern resource area. Cool. In that case, I think I'm going to do some... Well, let me just take another look at the Manchurian focuses. We get an air and a tank designer. I don't care. We get two factories. We get a head of time bonus on a plane. Head of time bonus on some more planes. Not that excited about this so far. Plane designer, we already have a plane designer. Air superiority bonus in, sh in combat. We already have an air chief. We already have a design company. So I'm not that excited about the, the aircraft tree. Now Manchuria. They get stability. They get... We send them equipment. We build them air bases. I don't understand. I don't think this seems very useful at all. Whereas we can't ascend the throne 
unless we've done this, which is going to require... Oh no, one of the following. Okay, so I can still do this, 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 without having to do any of this. We can't do the two Chinese empires, which does give us space stability, but we're, we're not hurting on stability. And this is just giving them naval bases and stuff. Like... Okay, this gives us some political power as well. But... Okay, develop Chinese resources. Vauxite, chromium. Vauxite, chromium. I mean, there's lots of focuses in there that could be good, but this strikes me as low priority. I don't care about Korea's compliance. Um, yeah, none of this matters. I don't, I don't think any of this really matters. This requires... Right, nuclear stuff. Air innovation. Heavy and tactical bombers, design company, which we've already got. German tech transfer. That could be useful. It requires faction with the Germans, which I think is not going to happen. Unless we get like a, a decision basis to put us into the axis, I don't know. Um, in that case, yeah, I think we're going to do some naval stuff. We don't need imminent naval bonuses. We need longer term stuff. Um... 25% bonus for a carrier doctrine. Adding a bunch of naval bases to the Pacific. This is what we don't need yet. What I need is stuff that helps me now. Which is shipyards, basically. So I think we're going to do shipyards. And expand the works. Which gives us more shipyards. And then expand the shipbuilding industry. Cool. Sounds good. Some shipyard-based focuses and we have our new research slot for naval things now it's almost time for the advanced small battery and the AA and stuff maybe I should start doing the diesel engine ahead of time but I think I'd rather do um, I'd probably rather do critical hits 50 to shave off 70 days. Maybe I should start going down to doctrines. Yeah, let's do some doctrine decisive battle stuff. Seems good. Okay. You guys are pushing up here just fine. Let's launch this and this. Mm, no, not just marines. Marines can't attack alone. Ah, uh, we're paused. That's why I can't cancel it. Cancel, cancel, cancel. It's not that they couldn't win the fight, it's just that they'd take needless needless casualties. Now, I've got to make sure we don't accidentally leave our southern section undefended. So we've got five divisions here, eight here. You guys... Oh my god, why do you keep turning off... Um, whatever you call it. Fast transport. Strategic redeploy. It's weird. Anyway. Um, okay, breaking them here. Give them some nice support there. Looking okay in the south. Like, they're not actually coming at me. Let's uh, see if we can push them out of these woods back onto their side of the river. I will have my... Oops. I will have some of my cavalry come down here and just help hold this line. They don't have... You know, you can see there's big gaps beginning to develop now. They're not... Uh, they're not really defending themselves very well here. Hmm. No, that's a problem. That's the, uh, it's the supply hub as well. Ah, <clears throat> oh, darn, it's not actually connected by a railway unless I get this southern one. I hadn't realised that. That's definitely weakening my position over there. We could fall back to a more defensible position, like this hill, these hills. Yeah, I think we should, um, let's actually fall back here a bit. Uh, to at least this hill line. You guys can get assigned to that. And then we'll keep this going like this. Fine. Good. If they're going to let me cross this river, I'm not going to not gonna say no, but... Okay. You guys pushing in. Alright, now with some proper guys to back up the marines, you can come in here. Good, and obviously we'd like to avoid crossing the river with anything but marines. There's assault operations. Good. Going to keep on uh, powering down there. 
Grand Assault. 10% breakthrough and 1% soft attack and 5% max planning. Boom. Pretty good stuff. Okay, here, another opportunity to shorten the front line. Let's take it. Okay, arms deal. We will just keep, keep on selling our arms to whoever wants them. Yeah, you can come up here because there's basically no one stopping you. You two can trigger this assault with some marine support. Good. Okay, planes wise, let's focus on closing out this pocket. Everyone fly here, please. Anyone that can fly from a more favorable area, please do. Yeah, and you are falling back? Yes, good. Yeah, we can, we'll, we'll push back in here. You know, we shall return to these, uh, this offensive. Where is that? Where is that blooming attack plan going? It's all the way down here? No. Is it this? No. You know what? Just, uh, just delete it for now. <laughs> that was a weird one. Go like that. Okay, cool. That was another industrial tech. Um... Anything else over on the hardline industrial side? We're not building many ship factories. Party popularity, stability modifier, chance to get sick is good. Base stability here. Let's let's get that base stability going. They're a tiny bit unstable. Not not particularly, but you know. More stability never hurts. Okay, coming in here, coming in here. Good, let's, let's launch this offensive now from three directions simultaneously. Good. And yeah, we're going to see their casualties seriously mount. They're already at 500,000. Um, there are plenty of enemy divisions in here that are going to be, of course, completely incapable of escaping this pocket while we, uh, while we wrap things up. And yeah, the massive plane support. Okay, good. There's that. Get me... Had a naval bomber, long range naval bomber. I think carrier bomber is higher priority. And we do want to switch over to the new carrier fighter here. Let's design a improved version as well. Give me some engine. And it doesn't need range. So, yeah, but quite a lot of engine. Airborne radar. Give us some air attack bonuses. Raises its agility too, interestingly. Um, like cannon. I think air attack. Air attack is the name of the game on these guys, isn't it? So, yeah, let's do that. And then obviously the old one and switch straight over. It's going to really hurt the production efficiency because it's a big shift, but that's okay. And then I think um, we'll put another factory on there once we have one. Available. Good. You've won that. Let's start here. Okay. The most of this push is obviously coming up from the south, as you can see. But that's okay. You guys can close that up. Yep. It's fine for selling Italy arms. You can move down. Okay. Yeah. Supply here. Pretty dire. A few, just a few tiles of advance here, and we'd have a much nicer supply situation if I could take this hub because it will be connected up to our uh, our northern one. Now uh, let me take a look at motorization again. Unmotorize this one, but heavily motorize this one. Yeah, suddenly hugely overburdened, but not for long. Not for long. The resistance is obviously going to hurt our uh, our supply situation. Let's motorize this so it can take share some of the burden. Uh, but yeah, we're coming coming in here slowly but steadily. We could probably just push head on here. Yes, let's do that. Good. And grab there. Then we're getting a bit close to this hub. This hub, of course, is not connected to anything, so we won't be able to make a great use of that, but that's okay. Starting these. More and more enemy division enemy uh, yeah, enemy divisions being seen in these tiles. <clears throat> no no, don't do that push. That's a bad one. Okay. Good, broken in there. You can actually just carry straight on as a, as a squad, if you'd like. 
Good. Fuel situation is improving. <clears throat> Production wise, ah, bollocks, which has been repairing. Give me, um, this is the one we recently upgraded, right? Wasn't there another one I was upgrading the infrastructure in? Right, Kyoto. Oh, sorry, Tokyo, not Kyoto. Um, give me, give me an oil uh, holder here. And then maybe we should build some more shipyards. There is a relatively simple way to calculate whether building a dockyard or a shipyard is is cheaper. The fact that we can't build it in any of these ones means I think I'll just do some shipyards. Give me an extra couple of shipyards. Yeah. I know we, we could do with way more military factories, but shipyards are, you know, they're what's going to win or lose us the game. I, I really do think that. Okay, improved into service HQ. Nice. We can keep that going. Spending the hundred. More initiative, more organization, more daily command power gain. You love to see it. And we do have some command power that I don't really know what I want to spend on right now. Could do pay rate of the soldiers. No, it's just a war support. Give me increased operatives. I think I'm going to start putting some into that. Getting a bunch more spies. Not really so we can run many operations, just so I can spy on the US and know uh, know how many men they've got, how many planes and all that. There's the Nagasaki shipyards. The Kobe works. will be good. Some more dockyards there. And this, I think, is actually a completed pocket because it's just a river, a lake rather, on the far side of them there. You want to come up here? Good. There's transportation improvements for that supply range. That's going to be really nice. Now give me the sniper teams. Okay, cutting in. Good stuff. Civilian works is done. Helping on the stability, of course. Um, uh, I mean, 5% ruling party support. Does that mean it would go to... 8.7, or it would go up by 5%. I think it probably means it would go up by 5%. Retention is good. Repair speed's not useful yet, but will be. I think I need to keep doing these so I can get the road networks. Yeah, let's do that. I, I, I've said this before, but I really enjoy that Black Ice makes research decisions meaningful by making their way more options. Because in, in vanilla, you really can just research everything that you want to have. Fine, research it. Whereas in this, you know, this, there's much more <laughs> that you want. Um, and so you have to make genuine tactical decisions. There are ways in which Black Ice has added complexity that doesn't add value. And I've spoken at length about them in the past. But tech is not one of them. I mean, very palpably add significant value in the technical area. No, well, the research area, I mean. Okay, let's try this, uh, let's try this crossing. Could really do with that supply hub, and we have got the rail connection being upgraded en route to it. Okay, pushing them out here. Beef that up. Could cut in behind them, that could be good. Go for him here. I think it's time to try and cross this river. These guys, not really necessary over here anymore. Um, do you have any men down in the south? No. Uh, you have some slots. It's got one slot. Have them. Right, yeah, we can get 13 men per army now. I forgot. Let's have you guys... Yeah, go and join your buds over here. You should definitely have an attack plan, by the way. Let's just redo some attack plans to actually reflect reality for a moment here. So the naval... The marines should rally to Shanghai. Um, because we... Uh, sorry, all the marines should rally to Shanghai. Except ones currently involved in an attack, which I will reissue orders for, because we're going to use them for our next naval invasion, which will facilitate our next encirclement. Next, we have this guy, who's the less good general, who's just responsible for holding this 
this line here stable while we work on a naval invasion behind it. Next, we have this guy who's the third best general, I'd say, who's been assisting the naval invasions. He's got helping with this crossing. Yeah, so just give a, a generic one to you. Next, we have this chappy here who will be getting reinforced soon, whose push should be uh, centered down here because that's the only way we're going to get to the next supply hubs. Then we have this gentleman here who's uh, going to be responsible for the push back into those tiles that he just left, capturing those two supply hubs in the process. And then again, we just have a blocking division in the north who's just been <laughs> getting better at being in winters, basically. That's that's his, his war so far. It's just been... Uh, getting really good at planning um, planning kind of winter logistics and cold weather gear <laughs> basically if you want to get yourself down to Shanghai that'll be good these guys finally got through that port <laughs> yes I think they have right oh no that's right I sent them down here okay um, yes yeah, stay there because I think that's where I want you to support the next naval invasion okay next don't need a tank designer. Maybe a Supreme Commander. Could be good. This lowers naval organization. No, thank you. Division organization, naval organization, supply consumption down. Yeah. Division and naval organization and echo excellence is down and supply consumption down. Seems like a great commander to me. Okay, the cavalry. Yeah, this central area is where I want the cavalry because they're uh, they're light and it's and it's planes both of which are uh, yeah, cavalry suitable environments just give you a separate attack plan here so that you can start getting a planning bonus right and I meant to spend some command power promoting someone how much do you need again 30 okay 30 or so anyway okay here we go Final push to the coast now. Getting very, very close. Very close indeed. Once you're across, just push across. And we've got yeah, all the planes still active. Helping out here. Very much the end of major Chinese resistance in the north here. There's the offensive battle focus. Um, not ahead of time on the next tier as well. Advanced battle line tactics, more little hit chance and capital ship attacking. Or torpedo screen penetration. Ooh. Well, we're going to get both of these. So let's start with this one. And we are going to have to do it the, the slow way. I did invent my new carriers, didn't I? Yeah, the carrier tech twos. Those. No, actually, those are the interwars. Okay, so we do still need to invent the new carriers, but. We're just short on um, until these guys have finished deploying. There's no hurry because we're basically until we have spare dockyards. There's no need to uh, to start that process. Okay. Fine, fine, fine. If you guys wanna I'm pushing in here, you're pushing in there. Good. And yeah, we'll take a look once this uh, once this pocket has closed. What kind of casualties we're looking at from the pocket? It's gonna be substantial I'm telling you that for free if you want to move south good and then the yeah the supply situation will start to improve as well <coughs> excuse me sorry as we uh, as we press in here okay good the infantry just make this close this up as soon as possible you can cut in there as well nice all right, some more steel from the Germans. Helping the Germans, of course, will be good. I suspect they're going to lose to the Allies. Um, but helping the Germans so they hold against the Soviets longer. Because my I know we have a non-aggression pact with the Soviets. But, I mean, you know how much respect the Soviets put on that historically. So, uh, I mean, we don't owe them any more than that, I would say. Bunch more raids. Okay. There's one. And very nearly here is another Right, so those spare guys, what are you again? Carrier bombers. You're the carrier bombers 
that we might end up using. I don't think I need to train them. Oh yeah, speaking of training, you guys must be pretty trained by now. Not all the way up though. Still progress to be made? Cannot gain additional experience from that. Okay, right, so you should stop doing your pilot exercises and hop back on the plane. And will it just organize, so the ships, will it just organize them really nicely? No, it's put them all onto one, one plane, one ship it looks like, okay. <laughs> uh, all right, a 45 and a 35 go here, a 45 and a 35 go here, 32 and a da, 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 33 go here. Okay, that should be, should be good now, right? Yes, nice, and they're all good and trained. Love to see it. Uh, now, meanwhile, my reserve carrier fighters. Do I only have one reserve carrier? It seems... What is this? Oh, this is my... Um, what was my... Um, shore bombardment fleet, that's right. So the battle fleet's uh, aircraft are now all fully trained. Excellent. The training fleet, meanwhile, is there a way... Can I do it? With infantry, you can shift click it to exercise until all units are trained. All units are trained? Or unit, does the units stop training individually? I thought units stopped training individually, but I don't think I can do that with ships. Anyway, you guys that have got the new experience levels, it might even be easier to do it in the inverse, but oh well. Just uh, hop out. And we're going to stop you, stop you training. Have you go and join the main battle reserve. Good. Also, actually, now I look at that. Well, we'll worry about that in a minute. There's no no urgency to have a battle fleet fully fully organised right now. Here is the final battle to encircle the last four divisions. Not encircle, destroy the last four divisions. And you can see their helmets going flying as we close it out. Marvellous. Quite the encirclement, that. I'm, uh, I'm quite pleased with how that went. And right as we do it, there's the focus. So, that encirclement saw the casualties of 600,000 Chinese troops. More than doubling the casualties we'd inflicted so far in the war. I do not like how this war looks for the Republic of China right now. Nice. As the final act of this episode, ah, we can pressure or befriend Siam. So what does this actually do? Issue an ultimatum. They can force them to sign an alliance with us, or we can befriend them, which unlocks demand Indochina. Both unlock demand Indochina, but I think demand Indochina requires France to have capitulated anyway, so. Uh, well, we will pressure Siam. We are, uh, we're not wimps, no befriending, just only pressure. Cool. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. I will see you all in the next episode. I hope you enjoyed this one, and I'll see you then. Bye-bye.